Hi everyone. I wanted to do something nice for the animals in my backyard, so I decided to try and make a bird feeder. I made one, this one, out of some recycled materials. I used an old juice carton. And these things, sometimes they're juice, sometimes they're milk, and I cleaned it all out so it was nice and clean inside, and then very carefully cut a rectangle That'll be the door to my birdhouse. Then I very carefully drilled and cut a hole here on either side, one hole for a wood stick to go through. It goes all the way through to the other side. And that's gonna be the perch for the birds to sit and eat at the bird feeder. And then I put some string through the holes up here so it can hang on the tree. So it's at a nice place for the birds to get it. And all I have to do now is decorate it. I painted it before, so now it's nice and ready for some decorations. So I have some different stickers here and some different colors of paint with some sponge stamps that I can use to decorate it. Let's give it a try. How about we start with, hmm, I cut out some of these pieces of foam to make a little fence along the bottom of the bird feeder. I thought that might be a cute thing so that birds could have their own little fence on their own little house. I'll use some glue to attach it to the bottom here. You can decorate your bird feeder any way you like. There's lots of different ways to decorate it. You could color it, put on stickers, use some paint, or glue on some pieces like I am. How about one more? Very nice. And then one piece to go across this way to complete our fence. Excellent. Ta-da! There's our beautiful fence. Okay, let's see what else we can add. How about, oh, I have some butterfly stickers. We could have some butterflies flying around the birdhouse. Okay, we'll put one butterfly here. Here we go. How about a blue butterfly over here? So nice. And how about a little purple butterfly? Put it down here and they'll all be flying together. Here we go. That's beautiful. Okay, how about we add some stamps to the back of our bird feeder? I'll use some of these sponge stamps. I got some different shapes here. I can do a heart. We'll do some different colors. We'll do, how about some red hearts? Dip it in the paint. And it's just like a stamp. Here it comes. Oh, so nice. Look at our red hearts. So pretty. How about up here we can make some red hearts too. Oh, there we go. So nice and red hearts for the birds so they know they're loved. Let's add some more color, but on this side. We'll maybe do some stars. What color should I use? Some yellow stars? We'll do some stars up here at the top, just like the night sky. I think the birds are gonna love this. It's nice to give the birds a place where they can safely eat, especially in the winter time when it's cold then it's hard for them to find food. So it's nice to have a place where they can come and have some food. This one kind of looks like a flower. Let's do some pink flowers. Down here, flowers grow from the ground. There we go. Those are beautiful. So nice. Let's add something in the middle too. How about some shapes? I have some different 
stickers here of different shapes. You can do a triangle. Put that one here in the middle. How about a circle? So a yellow circle. Ta-da! How about a purple triangle? Nice, I like all these colors. Let's add one more. How about a blue circle? There we go. Look at all of that. So nice. Okay, let's decorate the front of our bird feeder now. This is the part that the birds are gonna come and eat out of. How about we add some flowers? I have some pretty flower stickers here. Put some all around their door. Got a blue flower. So nice. And a green flower. Down there maybe. How about a yellow flower? Right up here. This is looking great. I think a couple more flowers will do the trick. How about this purple flower? Nice big purple flower down here. Yeah. What else? How about one more up here? Okay, let's find a nice color. Nice big bright color. How about, ooh, I like this one. It's kind of like a yellowy green. Let's try this. Right up here. So nice. Let's take a look at our bird feeder. Got some flowers on this side. Our fence and the butterflies. Our heart stamps. Our stars and flowers and shapes. It's so nice. It's almost ready to go outside for our birds. But first, we have to make sure the birds have something to eat. So let's add some, here we go. Birds like to eat bird seed. Just got a little spoon here and I'll put it inside. Like this. And then when the birds have eaten it all, they can take it down and put some more in. They'll like that a lot. Yeah, there's lots of bird seed in there now for our bird friends. You go hang up on the tree. And you can make as many as you like. I made a bunch of bird feeders to put outside on the trees. This is a green one and I used popsicle sticks to make a roof for their birdhouse. This one is yellow and I used some recycled straws for the roof of this bird feeder and a pencil for the perch. So you can use all sorts of different recyclable things. This one, I used a lot of stickers all around. And I drew in some other, or I cut some other windows on this one. I used a popsicle stick as the perch. They can hang outside for the birds to come and have some bird seed. I think they'll really like that. If you give it a try at home, make sure to share pictures of your bird feeder and use the hashtag Katie's Classroom so we can see all the beautiful things on your bird, bird feeder and all the birds that you see coming to your bird feeder too. Thanks for hanging out with me. I'll see you soon. Tweet, tweet. <laughs> I hope you liked making these bird houses. If you had fun, make sure to subscribe because we have lots more crafts and activities coming up. Woo!